hi, my name's Stuart Hawkes. We're here at Metropolis Mastering. Um, I've been here for 20 years and um, worked on many projects over the years, including Amy Winehouse, uh, Ed Sheeran, um, Disclosure, uh, Avicii, to name a few, Rudimental. Um, and I'm going to show you a bit about mastering today, take you through the process, um, show you a bit about how I work, and um, yeah, see what you think. Okay, so let's have a listen to the master which we've got down here. I'm playing out the Sadie. Just give you a quick idea of the actual signal path, first of all. So I'm gonna play out the Sadie, the master. I'm gonna go through the digital to analog converter, my Prism DA2s. Um, once it's in the analog domain, it comes up in the desk here. Then we can sort of select a number of EQ or compressor units or um, various processing we can do. Um, once we've done anything in the analog domain, it goes back into digital here, my A to D converter, into whatever sample rate or um, bit rate I want to do, and um, through any limiting, and then we capture it again back in the SADI on this top stream. Now at the moment, we've got a kind of reference version in here at the moment, so I can A, B with a reference that a client might have given to the mastering, um, just so we can see what the client the idea that the client had for the track, um, just so we can make sure we're sort of, you know, in the same ballpark. So let's have a listen. So, you know, first impression is that we need to get the track a lot louder. And as you can see, the master file is, you know, there's, there's headroom on there, there's dynamics. Compared to the reference version, you know, the, the, the shape is very different, as you can see, because this one is so much louder, so much more limiting. So we need to think about how loud we can get the track and any first impressions, really, with the EQ of the track. Um, I mean, it sounds a bit dull to me. It kind of needs sort of livening up. Um, so we'll try adding some top end, getting the volume up, bit of compression, and see what see what sort of works with it, really. So I'm just going to try a few limiters as well now because they all sound different, work in different ways. So let's pull one in. First of all, let's get a plug-in one up. Um, actually, actually, let's go with an L2 first of all.
at the moment, I'm just A-B-ing between doing the same EQ on two different units. So I'm looking at adding some, some sort of 10K, a bit of hi-hat, a bit of excitement to the track. So I'm just trying 4 dB on the Sontec versus 4 dB on the Avalon. And then I'm going to try, also try on the Masalek as well. And just see what sort of works. And then also see if that's the right sort of frequency. Um, you know, if I go any lower, it kind of gets coarser. If I go higher in frequency, it's going to become sort of airier. Which, you know, you don't want it to become too airy-fairy. You want a bit of sort of aggression to it as well. So it's just sort of messing around. It's just seeing what works. Um, you know, A being, um, see what you can come up with, which is what I'm doing. And then once, Sorry. yeah, once I've roughly got an EQ set up, um, then I might move on and look at a bit of compression, see if it needs it. Then look at the limiting a bit more and just sort of play around with the track until I get pretty close to where I, I feel I need to be. Then maybe reference to, to the client's ref version. And uh, yeah, just see what it sounds like. Which is what I'm doing it now. I don't know if you can hear the difference there, that's the same EQ, 4dB at 10k. The top one there, that's on the Avalon, and then I'm just switching over to the Sontec, and they sound quite different. So, you know, it's great to have a facility to sort of switch between two EQs, see what you prefer and why. Maybe just, you know, adapt each one. So maybe, maybe 10k on the Avalon sounds a bit more sort of sparklier, so therefore maybe you go down to 9k on the Avalon and 10k on the Sontec, so you just, yeah, try and get, try and get a similarity, um, a like for like comparison and see which one you want to go with. So to me, the Sontec just sounds a lot more natural, you know. As soon as I'm switching to the Avalon, it just sounds coarser. It just doesn't sound as comfortable and balanced. So I'm sort of ruling that out, the Avalon. Now I'm going to just try a similar thing on the Masalek. See what that does. So I don't know if you can hear again, the Masalek just sounds a lot coarser. As soon as I'm putting this one in when then blue lights are on, it just, it doesn't sound as, as refined. But then you might prefer it a bit sort of grittier. So that's a, that's a decision you have to make. <laughs> Or you might want a bit of both, you know, 2 dB on the Sontec, 2 dB on the Masalek.
Okay, I'm going to go for sort of 3 dB on the Masilek and 1 dB on the Sontek and then move on. Don't want to get too hung up on that stuff. Okay, so that's all we've got time for today. Um, if you want any more information, you uh, can buy the latest edition of Computer Music. Um, thanks a lot.